Tip number 140 from the book 501 Contractor Tips, losing money on a project. Um, let's face it, it happens to even the best of us. It happened to me a few times and it was, uh, it was tough, you know, because actually I had two projects in one year that I lost money on. So I'd spent nine months of the year working on these two projects and it cost me dearly. That was a, uh, that was a big kick in the seat of the pants, an eye opener there. So if you are losing money on a project, you will need to try and figure out a way to make it up. Or as I said in the last video, at least figure out a way to um, stop it from getting worse. So if you're down $1,000 on a job and you only got another week and a half on it, hey, fine. If you're down $1,000 on a job and you got another year in this thing, you don't want it to be progressing. You don't want it to be getting worse. You know, somehow you can make this up. If it's a long job, you can probably figure out a way to make this up somehow. Um, and it might actually just be re require people to work a little harder physically. You know, might have to get something done, uh, you know. And again, this is what you as the business owner need to figure out you know you don't you don't want to make your mistakes your employees mistakes because um, otherwise your employees will go find someone else to work for you know they're not gonna be working for someone you're losing money and you're letting them know god I ain't making any money on this project it's costing me to have you guys take a break can you you know can we at least avoid taking breaks and work through our breaks well th this isn't gonna this isn't gonna work out good trust me you know obviously I've never done that before but I myself working as an individual contractor by myself, I have worked through my breaks. I have tried to make this work, work longer hours. I've done what it took to uh, make up on some of my mistakes. And some of my mistakes were bad. I mean, they were just miserable. And that's the only way I could get out of them was by working seven days a week, 12, 15 hours a day, um, pumping it out. And again, 15 hours, that's probably a little, uh, a little overboard there. You know, we could probably go back to uh, 10 to 12 hours a day, but I did work long and hard. This wasn't just working at an office, sitting behind a desk, you know, watching the clock go by. This was actually moving and getting it on, you know, getting stuff done. And at the end of the day, you could look back and see what you did and realize just how much more work you had to do to um, get the project done to finish it. So, I mean, I actually spent one week I was working on a cabin, and um, I thought there wouldn't be much to drywall the cabin. I gave the guy a low price, and I remember working seven days a week, and I, I worked from 8 o'clock in the morning to 11 o'clock at night, so I was just working and sleeping. I was staying at the cabin, and I remember working that week and making $700, and I thought to myself, this, this, okay, this is your first clue. There's got to be another way. You've, you're doing something wrong. And this is how we move forward. We figure out our mistakes and we avoid repeating them in the future. If you're losing money on a project, there's probably a reason why. And if it has to do with the estimating, then you will be able to uh, correct that or make the necessary adjustments for the next project. If you do not make the corrections, you will not be in business. You know, if it's labor, you're, you know, people aren't motivated, they're not getting enough work done, you will need to get rid of these people and get people who will get the job done or figure out a way to motivate them. But this is where it's at. You know, if you bid a job or, or again, if you bid a job and you're losing money on the labor, you're going to have to add more money in for labor on the next project. This is where you're going to be making the adjustments to make more money um, to, to get ahead. So you just can't, I can't stress it enough, you just can't continue making the same mistakes uh, over and over again on the same projects. And if you do, and you end up to where you're 10, 10 20,000 dollars in debt, then uh, it might be time to get out of business. It might be time to just call it quits because you don't have what it takes. Or call it quits for a while. I mean, there are plenty of things that <clears throat> like uh, one of the things for investing in stocks, they say if you lose money three or four or five times in a row, stop investing for at least a week. Stop investing for a month. Get your head back on straight and then uh, take off again. But this is exactly what it is. If you're losing money 
and you're barely getting or you're struggling in your business, you will need to figure out a way to make more money, um, get the projects done more efficiently, or um, you'll need to make up your mind and say, you know what, I'm going to go back to work for someone else. We are not all cut out to be business owners.